Hello guys, my name is Joseph Connor and welcome to JC Design. Let's run the intro. Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create round landscapes in Photoshop. So make yourself comfortable, sit back, relax and follow along. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our uh, image that should be linked in the description. Um, if you download that, you can just follow along exactly the same as me, or if you want to use a different image, that's fine. Uh, so I save my image to the desktop, so I'll just get my image, uh, sky image, and then I'll just drag it down into Photoshop. Let that open up and uh, so before we start I noticed in the image that there's a big kind of like dark cloud so I want to do some cleanup before we actually start doing the effect so let me just clean that up so I'm gonna uh, clone and remove that with the clone tool so to get the clone tool you hit S and then to make it work if you hold alt you get a little symbol up um, and then we'll just clone a bit of this image and remove this cloud. It doesn't need to be perfect. Um, and if you're following along, you don't necessarily need to do this step, but you will get a better result at the end. Um, so let me just do this. Once you've uh, removed that kind of little imperfection in the image, uh, we're going to go on to making the uh, radial effect. The first thing we need to do is we need to resize the image because we need to make the image square. Uh, so the, the way that we do that is we go up to image and then image size and you should get an image size box like this. Uh, by default, it'll come in with these two lines. Just make sure that you click that off so that you don't see the two lines. So basically what that does is if I change the height, it'll change uh, the width as well. So we want these to be able to change independently. So let me just take that off and we're gonna copy and paste. So Command C and then Command V. Um, that should make the image square now and then just click OK keep it a uh, 300 uh, DPI resolution and we'll see how that comes in so now we've got our image which is kind of like squashed a bit but that's fine that'll add to the effect uh, so now we're gonna add the radial effect the way that we add the radial effect is if we go up to filter and then down to distort and then polar coordinates click on that and already this effect is pretty much done you just click OK it's not kind of like the way I want it so uh, we want to stretch the image out so it looks like it's got a little bit uh, kind of 3d to it and that the clouds are actually stretching through a tunnel so the way that we do that is you go to filter and then distort and then we go down to pinch and what that does is it actually stretches so it's at the moment it's like this so what that does is it stretches the whole image out to one point so you actually get like a tunnel effect on the clouds uh, so we'll click OK on there and already it's looking pretty cool uh, so but we have this huge big line in the middle of the uh, image and um, we need to remove that uh, so the way we're going to remove that is we're going to remove it by using the patch tool. It's a pretty useful tool and uh, it'll save you a lot of time as well. So, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just rotate this image uh, kind of 90 degrees to the uh, to the right so it's a bit easier to remove the, uh, the line. So to do that you go up to image, then image rotate and then just click on 90 degrees clockwise and then we've rotated the image so we go over to the patch tool and you should get a little symbol like this you can literally just draw uh, a line around the area that you want to remove and then you'll get kind of like a little uh, symbol like this and you can just move around like this so let's do up here a bit and let's push it down here so we'll just take that off so you see it's uh, kind of blended the area and took away the line and we just continue to do that until 
um, the area looks kind of nice and smooth, basically. So, uh, once you've done that, uh, you should be pretty close to kind of having this image sort of the way you want it. But I want to get rid of this um, this black area in the middle. Uh, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to use the patch tool again. And we just simply go around the area that we want to remove like this. And then we kind of pull it so that it's kind of more brighter. Uh, just pull it over like so just so we've got some of those highlights and already it looks pretty cool um, so what we'll do now is I want to kind of darken the sides here so I'm gonna make a new layer hit the new layer and then I'm gonna go to my paint bucket and then just change this to I'll change this to black uh, actually no wait I'll change this to kind of like this black here so I'm gonna color pick the black in the top corner and then I'm gonna go back to my paint bucket and then on the new layer I'm just gonna make that like a uh, flat color then I'm gonna hit E on the keyboard and let me just take the opacity down of this layer a bit and then I'm gonna boost my brush up a little bit and if you right click you can select your brush and you can also select your size here as well so I'm gonna go pretty big with the size of my brush and then I'll click this uh, the soft round brush click off here and we'll get our brush let's make it a little bit bigger the brush and I'm just gonna brush out just by clicking in one area and now we kind of have a uh, a little bit of a like a kind of a a bit of a shadow on the outside of the image. It just adds a little bit more atmosphere to it. Uh, you don't have to add it. I just like to add it sometimes. So uh, we're pretty. I'm pretty happy with where we are with this image so far. But I want to add like maybe a human element to it. So in the file that. Uh, if you look in the description box below, there's another image uh, just saved as woman. Uh, so I'm gonna bring that image in. So I don't need the whole image here, I just really need the woman. Um, so I'll just grab her, hit Command C, and then just close that, and then Command V. So now I've dropped her into the image. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of cut her out so she's flying through the clouds. Um, and I'll just change the opacity here and see kind of get a, a rough idea of like what she look like flying in the clouds so maybe we just go a little bit smaller here and we'll bring the opacity back up and now basically all I'm gonna do is cut her out so um, I'll just cut her out and I'll be back with you in a minute
Okay, so once you've cut the woman out, uh, you should have a path around her like this. Uh, and if you go to path and then hold the command key, you'll get like this little symbol up here, click, and it'll turn into, a. S you'll select the, the path and then we're gonna add a uh, mask to the woman. So it's looking pretty good so far, but I feel like the woman is a little bit too large. So I'm gonna convert this layer into a uh, smart object. So if you just right click, convert to smart object, and then I'm just gonna hit Control T and then just make her slightly smaller and then bring her off to the right a little bit. Um, also feel like she's v uh, very kind of like light, so I want to darken her up a bit. So if you hover over the layer and hold command, you'll get a little symbol like this, the selection tool, and click, and you'll reselect. And then I'm going to add a new layer, uh, color pick, maybe this color here, and then use a large kind of soft brush and then just brush over the top of the image and then take the opacity down a little bit. Use the eraser brush with a, a soft brush and then just kind of pick out some highlights, maybe on her arm a little bit and then on her hand and then maybe the legs. Yeah, so as as simple as that. So it, once you're happy with your image, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the image so far. Uh, once you're happy with the image, uh, you want to kind of save it out of uh, Photoshop. And the way that we save it out of Photoshop is if we go up to File and then we go down to Export and then Export As, uh, you should get this screen that comes up. Let's give it a few minutes and uh, you'll have this little screen. So I'm going to save it as a JPEG. You have lots of different options here. You can save it as a PNG, a GIF uh, or an SVG, uh, but I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Uh, quality 100% and just leave the size at 1920 by 1920. Uh, all good. And then I'll just put uh, V1 for version 1 and then I'll click on export and it's going to come up uh, asking you to save it as whatever so I'm going to name it uh, round landscape and then lower hyphen and then v1 and I'm going to save this to my desktop so I'll save that to my desktop let that do its thing uh, just close this down we'll just cl and here we go, we have the image saved to my desktop. So it's as simple as that. So if you wanna save it out for Instagram, just save it as a, a JPEG and then upload it to Instagram. Thanks for watching guys. And I'd really appreciate it if you give the video a like and if you want, you can subscribe. If you feel like you've wasted your time watching my video, there's plenty more videos out there on YouTube that you can waste your time watching. Example. Uh, Courtney Kardashian's six steps to eating a Kit Kat. Trust me, that's one minute, 46 seconds. You'll never get back. It's got four million views, so she must be doing something right. Thanks for making it this far. And if you liked the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more videos like this every week.